Hi Sagittarius, how's it going? Welcome to my channel, Universal Intuition. My name is Jacqueline. Thank you all so much for being here. Today's video is going to be your mid-March general reading. Again, for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. I hope you're all doing really well, staying safe, drinking lots of water, practicing self-love, all those yummy good things. Um, Sagittarius, right after this general reading, we go right into your love reading. If you'd like to join us for the love reading it's the first link in the description box below and what we do over there in case you're new hello and welcome of course is in the love readings we check in on the other person you're dealing with right now in love and romance how do they truly feel about you what is the outcome of y'all's relationship where is it going what are y'all going through and experiencing together and so much more um so again if you want to join that one open the description box it's the first link there my instagram is also in the description box if you'd like to come follow or come say hello i love connecting with y'all um and other than that let's just get right into it again this is your mid-march general reading Anything goes here, work stuff, career, relationships, family, friends, you name it. And if nothing I'm saying is really resonating for you in this reading, make sure to check out your moon sign, rising sign, and or Venus sign, okay? I'm using my old school deck. It's called the Albano Weight Tarot Deck. And let's get cracking. Let's get rocking. Sag, what's going on? <laughs> Spirit, what do we have going on for my lovely Sagittarians for mid-March, please? This is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, please. We've got one more. All right, Sagittarius, beautiful energy. Bottom of the deck, I've got the Nine of Pentacles. Um, this is Earth energy. Some of you could be dealing with an Earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Um, but you've really found um, some inner strength within you right now. This is your energy and your theme for this entire reading. So I feel like with the Nine of Pentacles, there's something really great going on. This is very independent energy. It does not mean independent like you're you're going to be single if you're in a relationship not that this is where no matter what your relationship status this is where you know how to stand on your own two feet you pay your own bills you have your own job you know like you you know buy your own clothes like you really really know how to take care of yourself on a practical real way so it's very very good and this is like a lot of abundance a lot of money a lot of you know career energy here so you're very supported right now very strong very independent okay love that energy for you let's get your current energy on the table for mid-march eight of swords let's get one more with that Spirit, what is this Eight of Swords about for Sagittarius? Why are they worried? Seven of Pentacles. Okay, so for some of you, and the world in reverse. Okay, so for some of you, this could be about work, job. Um, like I just said, I feel like overall, you're doing A-OK, -okay, or you might find out later on this month as we go into Aries season any day now, that maybe there will be good news about something that you're a little bit stressed about. Eight of Swords is heavy air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, overthinking, stressing out, but there's not anyone else here. It's just you. This is kind of you trapping yourself, you overthinking something a little too much. And with the seven of pentacles, it could be really worrying or stressing about anything in the future. Seven of pentacles is future energy, waiting for things to blossom. Your, your seeds of intention that you've planted, where are they? Where are they? Where are they? Where is the result? Where is the new job? Where is this relationship going? a lot of questions with this kind of energy okay and kind of waiting for things to get better and right now really all you're doing is just thinking about it every single way scenario this that and the other it's not a bad thing it's just saying that I, and i feel like a sincere um energy here that you just want things to work out for the for the best obviously right i feel like you're just wanting things to work out you know if this is about a relationship you know getting better you want that because whatever's going on is it's not done there's just there the cycle is still open here with the world card in reverse whatever you're going through a job 
job change or a shift in a relationship moving any big things like like seven of pinnacles these are like big seeds of intention big moves in your life you know your own world your own stuff with the pinnacle right under you your own worth you know like you're kind of just you know wanting to make sure again everything that works out for the best okay um is the best way i feel like i can say that spirit what's coming in what's coming towards sagittarius that they need to know for mid-march what's coming towards them all right judgment in reverse devil in reverse so i do feel this card was at the bottom of the deck before i shuffle um, before i cut the deck excuse me capricorn energy um you could be dealing with a capricorn releasing a capricorn with a judgment card um but for for whatever reason i feel like this energy of like you're not really making a judgment call i feel like there's been a judgment call with someone around you or something in your environment like your boss told you something, your partner told you something, a family member told you something, and it's making you reevaluate. It's making you reevaluate right here. Yeah, three of wands, you are waiting for your ships to come in. You're doing a lot of waiting right now. You're not really taking a lot of, you know, moves right now. You are kind of just doing you, doing your everyday. Um, you're not really, I want to get some advice for you. Spirit, what's the advice here for Sagittarius? What, what can they do? Yes, 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 yes. Okay, we have the Page of Cups coming out of something that y'all can do. So, I, Because I feel like y'all are just sitting there like twiddling your thumbs like, okay, like I want my work to be okay. I want my, like I just feel like almost a little bit of like anxiety or like borderline panic. I'm not trying to trigger anybody, but I feel like with the way everything's going, with the situation we're all in right now, I feel like it's not so much that, a, a little bit of it, but I feel like you're, um, you're letting the world do its thing. You're letting everyone around you, your environment kind of do their own thing. And you're trying to remain, you know, as peaceful as you can. And the advice for you to kind of feel better is to do just that, is to feel better. Uh, Page of Cups, younger water energy, Pisces energy, big time, Cancer Scorpio as well. Um, this we're, we're at the tail end of Pisces season. This is a time to um not worry to really tap into your love to to you and a partner you and what you want to give yourself um this is really beautiful energy for some of you the advice with the page of cups is to flirt even if you're in a relationship i don't mean go cheat but just kind of have that flirty light-hearted energy call a friend go you know do something creative with somebody i know we're not supposed to be out and about but maybe go to your friend's house go to their apartment go hang out and go um just kind of shift up your energy i feel like you just need a good like belly laugh i feel like there's a lot of seriousness around you right now and y'all need to um you know find some kind of happy medium here okay um and that's absolutely what y'all need for sure um, what else do we have for Sagittarius? What's their best and highest message for mid-March, please? Well, that's good. No wonder. Five of Swords in reverse under the Eight of Swords. I feel like you're also worried about, um, we have the Hermit here too, could be dealing with a Virgo. I feel like with the Five of Swords in reverse under the Eight of Swords, what you're worried about and stressing about is maybe this Five of Swords energy of having some kind of conflict, um, conflict resolution with somebody. They don't have to be an air sign, but this is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy of where um, I feel like for some of you, you've parted ways with someone. I'm not feeling like a partner, romantic person, a friend, a family member, a coworker, something like that where y'all maybe parted ways. Maybe y'all have been avoiding each other. Maybe y'all have had... Um, y'all had a rough couple of weeks or couple of months, I would say, and I kind of feel like both parties or you, it could be you and two other people because there's three people in this card. Um, y'all all kind of gone your separate ways, but you Sagittarius are still a little bit on the defense with that 
Eight of Swords energy. You're not really ready to confront the issue or make a move, okay? You're just feeling a little bit stuck, a little bit isolated, okay? So that now I get a little bit more why y'all are so stressed out because I feel like you like maybe want this uh yeah the star card wanted to come out and then it went back in could be dealing with an aquarius for some of you um you know it's like a friend that you miss a family member that you miss maybe y'all didn't say nice things to each other um and you're just kind of like thinking about that person a lot or thinking about the scenario or situation right what can we do for sagittarius about that Ooh move on keep on trucking okay this person's wearing red uh fire energy sagittarius energy high priestess you already know what to do you already know that this toxic friend this toxic person this toxic family member whoever this person was that really was with the five of swords they could have also been very emotionally um or mentally manipulative towards you this is the kind of person the vibe that um they're kind of a know-it-all even if they have done something wrong a little bit narcissistic too if whenever they've done something wrong instead of them apologizing and owning up to what they they've done they somehow spin it back on you or back on somebody else right like they never take the blame they never take ownership of what they've done they have a real problem with that okay so i feel big time like that's been enough for you you don't need to be worrying and stressing your poor little dear hearts out anymore um this person left your life for a reason or maybe you walked away from them it, the energies could go either way but the advice for you on this person that you're thinking about or the scenario that kind of went south something that went sour in your life move on it's time to really eight of cups is like emotionally release it i feel like the emotions are the last thing to transform in this connection right now and again i'm not feeling too strongly of a romantic partner i feel like it's another person someone else that you've known for a long time and yeah and with this is making sense now because with the seven of pentacles you've been like waiting 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 maybe not communicating maybe not opening up too much um, but you're like waiting for this person to come back or this person to, to say they're sorry or to have some type of resolution with this person or a job situation, whatever this is for you as these still are general readings. But you, um, you know, Sagittarius with the high, high priestess here, that's your gut instinct, your intuition really saying, I already know what I need to do. I need to leave this person, this situation, this place, whatever it is. I've got to let it go and leave it in the past. My emotional baggage or emotional connection to this person or whatever, time to go. Time to travel, time to move on, right? I know we're not supposed to be traveling, but y'all know what I mean. Emotionally, like cut those cords, really cutting cords. So this would be a good time for you to Palo Santo, sage yourself, set an intention of your healing and moving on past this person. You know, and if you want to, you can also send that person love and light, but just let it be, right? Whatever's meant to be will be. If this person's meant to come back in your life, then they will. But I feel like right now they're just not, okay? And it's for the good. After the high priestess, which is your intuition saying, hey, I already know I'm supposed to do this. We have the Hierophant in reverse, Taurus energy um, of true commitment, commitment to my friend, commitment to this person, commitment to my job. They were toxic for you. Super, 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 super toxic. Someone that was so toxic for you that they would put blame on you in a second, Sagittarius. And that is so uncalled for and you know it. You already know what I'm saying. You already know who I'm talking about. Okay, this is really lining up now. I totally get it. So, you know, this is saying, uh, I'm sorry, the Hierophant in reverse is, again, Cut that cord, cut cut it loose, cut this person, cut this person free. You know, if they're gonna be really nasty and everything's always gonna be your fault, why are you in this connection to begin with? You know what I mean? I feel like you've learned your lesson. If not, I feel like I'm telling you right now what the lesson is, is that this person is, is narcissistic or the situation or part of your group or work, whatever you were dealing with, you like couldn't take it anymore. I think you've been waiting very patiently for it to come back together, find some resolution. Um, and right now you just need to put yourself out there, go meet new friends, you and your partner, go explore a journey together. But right now you and this friend or this old boss or work situation, whatever, 
It's not meant for you, at least not for right now. You've got so much more love and creativity and so many bigger, better, bolder things coming to you right now, Sagittarius, that this is like, I'm seeing a fly on the wall. This is just like dust at this point. This is just like, and I know that's easier for me to say than for y'all to live it out because I'm not in your shoes, but I definitely feel like this is just not worth your time. It's not even worth you thinking about like no energy anymore into this because it's only just stressing you out. Eight of cups, time to bounce, time to go, time to release them. I'm glad that we, yeah, Knight of Wands in reverse. This is about going in. I'm going to take control. I'm going to fight this fight. I'm going to get in there and do that battle. Sagittarius energy. Boom, boom, boom. Rush, rush, rush. Fire energy as well. Leo and Aries as well. The, the advice here under the judgment card, let it go. Don't do anything. Don't get on your horse. Don't get it. See, to do, the, to do this task, to go talk to that person, to go back to that job, whatever we're talking about here for y'all, you would literally literally have to armor up. He's in armor. He is has a worried face like, oh my gosh, I'm a little scared. I've got those butterflies in my stomach. No, we're not, you're, you're not doing that. <laughs> y'all do whatever you want. I'm just telling you what the cards are saying, right? That it would not be successful by you because the six of wands is in reverse as well. This is about victory, success, um, it would just seven of wands. It would just keep you in that defensive energy of always having to, every time you go to that person's house, every time you interact with them or go to that job or see that boss or whoever it is we're talking about, it would immediately bring up, I'm hearing fight or flight. Like this person's so nasty to you sometimes, Sagittarius, or they have been in the past, whatever, that I feel that gut feeling. Um, I'm feeling like when I was a child again and certain situations would happen to me and I would just like cringe up and I would get like that nervous fight or flight. Like I would like, I gotta do something or, or I'm just frozen, you know what I mean? And I feel like this person does that to you and that is so unhealthy. It damages your immune system. It causes stressors into your physical body, mental body. This person is bad for you super bad for you uh yeah <laughs> three of swords popped out under the three of wands y'all this is not page of wands in reverse this is look at what this person does to you this card should really explain it all without me having to talk much more <laughs> okay i know that's not funny but this is you know this is serious this person's a heartbreaker whether whether it's a romantic thing a friend a family member it doesn't really matter this person has broken your heart. They have let you loose, waiting for you to come back to apologize to them because they think they haven't done anything wrong. And that's so cowardly. They're such a coward right now. And then you don't deserve that. You deserve the world. You deserve the universe. Y'all are one of my favorite signs. Do not settle for less. Please don't settle for less. Please stop doing that. Y'all deserve literally the world anything else let's get one more advice let's end this on a good note right before we get into your love life because I feel like that's a whole other that's a whole other something I feel like that's going to be really good because this is about someone else any last message for Sagittarius please yeah 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 queen of swords uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, and this card is looking away, all my, the cards that I have uh, in the spread, this, she's looking completely away. She has her back towards this. So this is like the advice for you is stand your ground. The clouds are going to start parting for you. It looks in this, in this card, like the clouds were up here. It was cloudy, stormy, emotional, ah, craziness. But by you sticking to your truth and what you know is good for you and what's right for you, getting your mind in order, getting your communication skills in order, not being afraid to confront them, if at all that needs to happen. But right now you just have your back to it and you're, it's almost like you're being silent. You'll speak up when you need to, of course, I know you're not afraid, but I really feel you turning your back on the situation and 
standing your ground, but in a very, and I'm feeling a lot of peace now. I feel like you're going to find peace here. Um, we have the lover's card in reverse. We have the empress in reverse. We have the sun in reverse, right? And the six of swords. This is someone from your past, okay? They might try to swing back in, but they're making all these beautiful energies in reverse. Again, it doesn't have to be a love partner, but whatever it is, whatever connection that you had with this person is completely broken at this point, okay? And I feel like it's just best for you to keep a lighthearted, flirty, positive energy for yourself and for your partner, your family, people who are on your side, your tribe, your, your soul group, right? And then just very calmly stand in your power, stand in your throne. I feel like for a lot of you, you don't have to say shit. You don't have to say anything. You can just walk away from it, okay? I just see y'all like getting your posture together, doing some deep breaths, namaste. And really, I know it's easier said than done, but I feel like letting go of the situation or, or person, old friend, family member, whatever, I'm hearing it's been overdue. Because you know what? Back to this three of swords really quick. I know this video is going a little longer than normal, but I don't really care because I love y'all and I, I want to get these messages to you. One last thing I want to say about this situation is this is like the last straw. You know how we give people like, oh, one strike, two strike, three strikes, you're out. This is their third strike. They've already hurt you at least twice before very significantly. So this is saying, and look at that heart. It's red. That's your heart. Sagittarius, that's your fire. That's your, that's your burning desire. And they're, they're okay with piercing it. And that is not okay, right? So I just want to make that very clear. I love y'all so much. We're going to go into the love reading and seeing what's going on. I feel like there's a whole other story over there. So if you'd like to join, it's the first link in the description box below. Sagittarius, if this is where we part. I love y'all so much. Thank you always for your support, your likes, shares, subscribes, donations. I'll see y'all soon. Take care.